finally got 16 gigabytes of RAM set up in my computer. I'm not going to go into all the details, but basically there was a dude on Craigslist was selling it, and instead I traded him something to get it, and now I got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Boom. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic, which is Titanfall 2. Is Titanfall 2 already doomed or dead before it even releases? So there is some gameplay you can look up of the single player campaign where people went and was actually able to play the game and get us some footage. And a lot of people are saying, oh, this is a repeat of so on and so forth. There's repeat of guns and a whole bunch of other stuff that people have found have been repeated from the first Titanfall. Okay, the issue being here is that people are afraid that the game is going to be a repeat. It's going to have the same multiplayer weapons, the same this, the same that. Now, I do believe I saw one. No, I'm not sure if I saw any. I think the sniper rifle is a new sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure that was used in the gameplays and stuff like that. Okay, all right. So, other than that, I didn't really see anything new-wise. Now, that is in the campaign. It may not have be available multiplayer tomorrow. I'm letting everybody know. Tomorrow, right now, 12 p.m. Pacific time, I think they said, right? Okay, PMT, all right? They're doing a live stream over on Twitch.tv slash Titanfall. I'm pretty sure it'll be uploaded to their YouTube after. Just letting everybody know. But they're going to be doing a multiplayer live stream so we can see it from there. One of my big issues with the first Titanfall and why I stopped playing it was not due to the lack of content. The game was still fun and enjoyable to me, but a lot of people ruined it because they were able to exploit the data sinners. Let me explain. You can change the servers in the game. Now, I can understand why they did this. Don't get me wrong at all, but people exploit it. I'll give you an example. I would be playing with people all the way over in China on US. And here's the, where it becomes an issue. It doesn't become, does this player have skill anymore, okay? It becomes, you cannot hit this player because of connection-wise. The bullshit happened in Titanfall 1 when they switched their data center to US, okay? They joined into your game. They were on a one bar, constantly on a one bar, okay? All right? Their ping was ridiculous, okay? All right? And what happened is the game would never kick them or anything like that, obviously. So... On your screen, you'd be looking, and they'd be jumping around everywhere. Like, they'd be, you know, 10 feet in front of you, or they'd be right in front of you, and you try to melee them, and they'd be 10 feet in front of you immediately after that. Different things like that. You couldn't melee anybody, you couldn't shoot anybody, you couldn't kill anybody. So they basically became invincible. Basically, change your data center, you're invincible and won't die. That's how people managed to go 25-1, and 26-1, and one, and basically never died in the game at all. Because they were exploiting that. Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying I hope they learned from the first Titanfall and make it so now it is not exploitable because that is, make it so after a certain amount of ping, people get kicked when they're in the game or something like that, okay, alright, because it makes it so, it, it makes it so the game's not based on skill or the game's not based on, oh, can I outgun this dude, it's, well, he's lagging and even if I try to hit him, it's not gonna happen, so... That's what eventually winds up happening, and then they kill you because on their screen, you're perfectly fine. But on your screen, they're jumping everywhere and lagging everywhere, so you cannot kill them. It's ridiculous. Now, the next thing everybody is jumping shit on is skill-based matchmaking. It will be making a return in the game. I personally didn't have a problem with skill-based matchmaking in the first Titanfall. I don't know if it had it or not, but I think it did. I think it did have skill-based matchmaking. It didn't really affect me at all whatsoever. I still, I went up against people who were like level 60 and shit. I still beat them. I don't know how I did, but I still beat them. We still won the matches, so it didn't really affect me that much. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is Titanfall 2 dead before it is even released due to the amount of repeats of weapons that we've seen and due to one of my biggest issues, people being able to exploit the data center? I hope they fix that, unlike in Titanfall 1. And I think, personally, it may have around the same weapons the first Titanfall did, but they're adding on Titans onto that. I'm not really sure. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.